Uh, we're here with Colleen again from sunny Florida. You know, it's pretty sunny in Wisconsin today too, so it's good to be here. Uh, we're talking fiber today. Um, how much sources and, you know, what's the benefit? So um, tell us about fiber, Colleen. Fiber, in my opinion, is sort of a fourth macronutrient um, because it's so important. And unfortunately, if we look at the U.S. statistics, um, U.S. adults are getting about half of what they need. So women should be getting about 25 grams, men about 30, and on average, we're getting about 15. And so that's not great because fiber is really important for you know, things like gut health, um, if that doesn't get you really excited, then things like weight loss and weight maintenance, um, both really, really important. And so we need to make sure we have enough in our diet that we are healthy and that our body can function properly. And there's really no substitute for fiber. We, it's sort of an essential nutrient of sorts. Well, and, so, and let's, let's just, let's go into the, the bathroom with this thing. I mean, for heaven's sakes, if you want normal, <laughs> natural bowel movements, Fiber is kind of a good thing, you know. Um, there's yeah. a whole lot of people we don't want to talk about that. But mm -hmm. how many clients do you have that, as you get into their story, you start hearing that their bowel movements are horrible? The majority. Majority. Uh, yeah. So majority. Th this is a piece of it. So there you go. I I, I went to the bathroom with that, and uh, you know, I I get to know my clients really well. We have yeah. very descriptive conversations and uh, it's important. It's really important. It's just as important as any other piece that we're talking about. So let's, um, so give me, let's get 25 grams of fiber in the female diet. Give me a f the foods and kind of the serving size and let's get to 25 in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat? Okay. In a heartbeat. So, um, we're not going to use things like Metamucil or psyllium husk or any of that stuff. So let's just put right. that on the table because yep. that is not the same thing. When we look at, at standardized trials, people who get their 25 grams from supplements versus real food, the real food individuals always have more gut diversity, they're healthier, less inflammation, all the good things we want. The other people just get to say that they got their fiber and that doesn't yeah. really do a lot. So, so. I, I, my, my main man, the originator of personal training, Jack LaLanne, and I'm old enough to remember him. You may not, but he, his, one of his great statements was, if man made it, don't eat it. So we're back to you talking. So where do we naturally get our 25 grams of fiber? Okay. So we'll start off with breakfast. If you can muster up the confidence and courage to eat a cup of raspberries, you're going to get eight grams of fiber right there. Okay. That's eight. That's eight, exactly. We go to lunchtime. Let's say that you get in a cup of uh, cooked broccoli, so that's another five. You're gonna be my math guy, right? 13. Okay, good, because I'm not a math major. <laughs> so we've got a cup of cooked broccoli. Let's say maybe we have a slice of whole grain bread that has another five grams. You wanna check the back 18 of 18 grams. Food. All right, we're cooking with gas. And then let's say that we have a snack a little bit later in the day, and maybe that includes some, um, like some type of dip with like hummus maybe. We're eating some hummus with some vegetables that would probably hit another eight with two right. tablespoons of hummus and a cup of vegetables. Um, we're, at, we're at 26 grams. Oh my God, I've already blown it out of the water and we haven't even gotten to dinner yet. But no, you're good. You're, you're too female focused. What about me? I need four more oh, grams. Okay. You need four more grams. Okay, in that case, grams. all you need is another cup of cooked vegetables in your yeah. dinner. So you okay. can eat one you want. Yeah, so at the end of the day, you get some natural, organic fruit in your diet. How many grams of fiber are in an apple? An apple's a little closer to four or five, depending on the okay. size of the apple. So, but the point is, eat your fruit and mainly vegetables. Yes. Because again, we want to try to stay away from that sugar spike, even though the fiber dumbs down the sugar spike from fruit. I mean, fruit's good. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, so eat your vegetables, eat your fruit, and you're going to nail your 25 to 30 grams of fiber every day. Super easily, super yeah. easily. And if you're eating some beans in there, I mentioned hummus, um, eating regular beans, bean dips, things like that. Super great source of fiber. Different types of fiber too are really important. And so we want to make sure we have as much of a varied diet as possible. So if you're buying frozen broccoli every week, week after week, Try some frozen cauliflower, try some asparagus, try, you know, branch out because each type of food has different fibers and it's important to have variety as well. There's a theme here. 
This isn't complicated, but it does take some thought. It's fun. It's an <laughs> so fiber That's is fun. Fiber is fun. Fiber is fun. Exactly. I, I get all giddy about fiber. Thank you, Colleen. No.